Hello guys, it's Arnas and today I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics locally. Last time I showed you how to connect their Google Analytics, but today I'm going to show you how to connect it and install it locally only. So it is very good idea to have it installed locally and uh, it's very good for the performance. And yes, so let's get started. Okay, so first step will be to create a Google Analytics account if you don't have it. So just go to Google, write Google Analytics, choose the first one and you can click start measuring. Then you will get to this page. Just enter your account name, all the details, everything and Click next, next, next until you get to this page. In this page, you have the all needed information for to host the Google Analytics locally. Uh, okay, so go back to your VP admin dashboard and go to the plugins, add new, and choose and search for flying analytics and uh, the first result will be flying analytics by VP speed matters just install that activate then go to settings flying analytics and you will need to enter your Google Analytics tracking ID you can find it here measurement ID or you can find it also in the script this one it's the same so anyway so just copy that and enter the Google Analytics code here and then you can choose the JavaScript method uh, for more information what each of these means you can find by clicking here and you will see uh, what each script does. So for 90% of users, the minimal analytics should be enough uh, because it, you, it will track your page views, users, location, device, traffic sources, and, and so much more. Uh, but if you are using like uh, conversions and WooCommerce and something else, then you should use the GTAG version. So let's go back to settings. So let's enter again the GTAG ID. Um, and then you can choose. Uh, if you are using WooCommerce and you want to track like your customers and you need conversions and so on. So just choose GTAG V4 or GTAG. If you don't have WooCommerce installed or you don't want to know the conversions and so on, you can use the minimal analytics and it will track everything as before, just without that extra things. Uh, don't choose in line because it won't, won't use the caching and CDN. You can also choose if you want to have it for admins or not. So I will choose the minimal analytics for my basic website. It, it will be enough save changes and don't forget if you want to test it out uh, when you're locked in disable that so i'm going to disable that for now later on you can enable it again so shift f5 for hard refresh inspect element source and then you can go to vp content plugins flying analytics minimal analytics and here is your file Everything is set up, everything is working. Don't forget to enable it again if you don't want to track the admin admins. So yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Bye bye.